Hey guys, it's Amy. As you can tell by the thumbnail of this video, I am doing a tag video called The Worst Luxury Buys created by my good friend here, my gorgeous Cat L. If you guys are not subscribed to her yet, I encourage you to because I love her. She's so hilarious. You love those items, but they just hurt you or they are a waste of money because they were not wearing well and you have those items that you're just stuck with or you, I guess, ended up <laughs> dumping or selling. The Burberry toad, uh, Burberry check toad. I don't know if there's a name for this bag because it's been years since I got it. I got it in the patent leather with the fuchsia trims. So patent fuchsia trims and uh, the, uh, the body of the bag is basically their coated canvas, the check coated canvas. I really love the classic look of it. Obviously, that's the reason why I bought it. I think at the time I was just seeing it everywhere and I just, I just really wanted it, right? And I bought it and of course I was so excited about it and I, I wore it. <laughs> and my goodness, after a single wear, there was so much uh, color transfer onto the canvas because it is a light color check canvas and it's the coated material that is really hard to wipe off because there are some canvas where it's still quite easy to clean and to wipe any color transfer but for that one it was really really hard and I only wore it that once and I think it was just rubbing against my hips because it was a tote right so it does it does kind of touch my hip a little bit and of course I had jeans or I think I had a black coat or something. I only wore it that once and I saw the color transfer, it was terrible. I had to of course clean it and I was hoping that it wouldn't happen again but of course it happened again and I bought it around the winter so of course I had my winter coat on all the time. My wool winter coat and it happened again so of course I cleaned it again and after the second time I was afraid of the bag as much as it looked beautiful and now that I think about it, I think it's more of a summer bag. I honestly should have treated it as a summer bag, but I don't know. I loved it. I wanted to wear, I only wear totes in the winter because that's the only time where I need a tote and need to carry more. And so I did sell it right after that. And of course I lost money. It was a terrible buy for me. <laughs> The second category is a small leather good or SLG and I don't know if any of the items I'm going to discuss are terrible buys but they definitely didn't um, live up to my expectations and so the first one is the Chanel slim card holder that I got in caviar leather. I know everybody loves that one. I loved it too when I got it. Um, it was beautiful it was gorgeous it was Chanel and I just loved looking at it and I of course I use it and after a week of using it the stitch popped on the corner just like that and I didn't stuff it I didn't I didn't mistreat it I I even was using it inside its own dust bag for the first week because I was still kind of in that phase where I wanted to keep it super new and pristine. It was just, you know, my first week using it and then it popped, the stitch popped. So I was definitely devastated and also disappointed because it's a really expensive item and I loved it. I was waiting for this Chanel piece for so long, for so many months, because it just gets sold out all the time because I wanted it in black and black caviar is the one that will always be out of stock and yeah it was just very disappointing I had to go back in and ask for an exchange but of course they didn't have any piece to exchange they didn't have any in stock so I had to get it refunded and whenever you get a refund in Canada uh, in Chanel they only give you a store credit and when, whatever you buy with that store credit is final sale so that kind of sucks and I waited and waited and it never came. After a couple months of waiting, I was fed up and I bought my LV SIM card holder. And my SIM card holder from LV is perfect still. I love using it. It's not a, it's not the Chanel piece that I wanted, but it's very functional, it's very practical. I would say that it fits a bit less than the Chanel one because the Chanel one does have more compartments and the, the top compartment, the middle compartment does 
sort of stretch a little bit more so you can put a few more bills and such but what can you do it just it just was a terrible buy for me it was a terrible experience in a sense that I was anticipating the purchase for so long I finally got it it um, defected on me within a week the third category is shoes honestly if you guys know me by now I'm not a uh, how should I say I am a shoe lover but I I cannot buy a lot of the shoes out there anymore because I have arthritis and also I just can't wear heels anymore I wear the short heel so anything that is two inch or two and a half inch is basically the maximum height that I can tolerate and it has to be the really um, stable heels it can't be the wobbly type of shoe um, so I don't really invest in luxury shoes I did buy one pair which are the Valentino Rockstud I honestly thought that I would get a lot of wear out of it but I was just too nervous to try I was just too nervous to to find out whether it would work out just because of all my issues with footwear and uh, so eventually I did let it go and I don't have it anymore in my collection so I can't really say that it's a worse buy Although for Kat, it was her worst buy because um, it basically gave her the worst trouble ever and um, I think after hearing her story that I'm kind of glad that I didn't keep it and that I did let it go eventually and so I, um, yeah, I guess that would be the only one that I can mention. A lot of you know that I am into comfortable footwear obviously I'm a fashionista, I love dressing up and so it's kind of a unfortunate thing that I can't wear those really gorgeous designer heels or even just like the really gorgeous high heels out there um, but I do find my way around I do buy a lot of comfortable shoes that still look kind of stylish but still are very comfortable and practical so my go-to brands are Echo, Clarks um, and just brands here and there that you kind of have to look at the shoe itself not the brand itself I guess but brand wise I find that Echo and Clarks work really really well for me obviously not all their shoe will be stylish and you know very fashion forward but um, you know I, I go for the ones that look a little bit more dressy and look a little bit more fashionable if that makes sense the fourth category is a makeup or skincare item if you guys uh, didn't know I'm also into very organic products um, and food and so my skincare I would say that it's a hundred percent organic or natural a uh, makeup it's 50-50 uh, I suppose is it yeah I would say my my sort of makeup is 50-50 there are some items that I still can't really tra transition completely and if you guys are interested um, if you don't know yet I did a whole video get ready with me video and I featured all the skincare and makeup products that I use to get ready and I explain in depth um, the ones that I highly recommend that has been just really wonderful for my skin and the ones that I still use but they're not 100% clean but I still use because they're effective and they still work for me so in this category um, I guess the only product that I can probably talk about is a MAC product that I used a long time so like I mentioned in my video in my get ready with me video I used to use the conventional products and from drugstore to higher end so I used to use like MAC, Estee Lauder, Clinique Biotherm, um, I can't even remember the other ones. I used Chanel skincare uh, at a time um, and they were they were not all problematic but the one that uh, really kind of pushed my skin to the edge and just became a huge problem was one of the MAC powders it made me break out everywhere and it's not those inflammation type breakout it's those little tiny bumps on my forehead it, it was all over my face but it was predominantly on my forehead and it was those they were not even all the white bumps it was just those bumps that were not inflamed but they were just bumps and they were definitely clogged pores and it took 
a long time for my skin to clear I would say as long as a year I think I didn't really count but it just was a terrible terrible product um, that affected my skin and I think it's an, an accumulation of everything and I knew at that point that I needed to go green I needed to go organic and natural and even that journey was a long journey for me to figure out what could um, make my skin go back to its normal state because I've always had normal skin I've always had um, skin that was not very prob problematic and I never had a acne breakout um, time period in my teenage years either so the fact that it did all of that um, to my skin was just terrible miscellaneous or other categories so it can be an accessory or a jewelry item as you guys might have witnessed in my channel I've started buying a lot of Chanel earrings and brooches and I love my belts I just love my accessories and I love my shawls because they are very very useful items that will really dress up and also be very functional for your wardrobe uh, and your styling so I don't really have anything that I can complain about I will say that there was this one pair of earring if I can find a picture I will insert it but it was probably the Rock and Rome collection it was my very first pair of Chanel earrings and it was one of those that had no studs sorry I meant no embellishments on it because we all hear that uh, people are having issues with crystals falling off or pearls falling off or anything so I got scared and I didn't want my first pair of Chanel earrings to be problematic it just didn't work out for me because the post itself was very thick and for whatever reason also we're not really allowed to try on the the earrings also in store before we bought them so it was kind of like a something that I never even knew about um, that even within different earrings they have the thinner post and the thicker post so the thicker post is the one that kind of tapers uh, from thick to thin and for me the thick post really hurt my my ears because I have very small ear holes my skin is very tight in general it just likes to close and it doesn't stay like my ear my ear piercings they don't stay they, they just become very tight all the time and no matter if I wore droopy very heavy earrings they will just go go back to its tightness that's just how my skin works I guess uh, which I guess is a good thing but it just didn't work out for me because every time we try to wear those earrings I would basically be stretching out that piercing and it just was very uncomfortable so that was a terrible buy in that sense that it was my first time buying a first Chanel earrings um, and it didn't work out so finally uh, of course I didn't wear them and I decided to sell them because of course I wasn't going to return them I couldn't probably return them anyway I didn't try but I probably couldn't and uh, luckily someone else was looking exactly for that pair of earrings and I was able to sell it so um, yeah so I guess that was my pick for this category so i hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed my insights as to things that didn't work out for me uh, or that were they're not they did not just work not work out for me but it could be the experience itself or the item itself and thank you so much cat for uh tagging me and i will tag some of my favorite people as well my very good friends mel in melbourne lv lover cc uh Cat Lux Love, let's see, uh, Hey Chenny, I haven't seen a video from you in a long time, Nettie's World For You, Inside Sif's Closet, um, Mel Soldera, I love her, uh, Minx For All, love her, Leo Lion LV, Have Louis Will Travel, I hope Nastasia will do it, Nastasia M53, and finally, I want to tag Hey June and Shay Whitney as well. Hopefully, you ladies will be able to join in the fun and uh, let us know what were your worst luxury buys. And yeah, I guess that is it for this video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for dropping by. I hope that you do subscribe by clicking that subscribe button below and that notification bell because I do post several times a week. My first video is always on Monday though. That's all for today. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.